Good evening. True life is lived when tiny changes occur. One said by Leo Tolstoy. Welcome to BMC News Live presented by Al Hilal Hospitals and Medical Centers English News. Myself Shana Sultana joining you with the daily news updates. Today's news in detail. BDF Athletics team achieved first place in first WMC half marathon. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the historic achievement of the Bahrain Military Athletics Team in the first World Military Half Marathon Championships, which was held in Switzerland. Among 300 runners from 39 countries who participated in the championship, Bahrain won first place in the women's team level competition and took first and second places. in the women's individual level LMRA conducted five inspection ca- inspection campaigns across all governorates the labor market regulatory authority LMRA conducted five joint inspection campaigns reporting number of violations related to labor market and residency laws the inspection campaigns included visits to a number of shops and work sites and labor gathering places to determine the extent of compliance with regulations and laws to preserve the basic components of the labor market LMRA stated that a joint inspection was carried out in the capital governorate and other governorates in partnership with the sentence enforcement department too Ninth SDMX Global Conference launched with more than 500 experts from 107 countries. The Information and E-Government Authority IGA launched the ninth State Statistical Data and Metadata Exchange SDMX Global Conference under the theme Empowering Data Communities. Held in the Middle East for the first time, the event is a collaboration between the IGA and a number of international organizations. The event has drawn more than 500 participants from 107 countries, including data science experts, officials from regional and international institutions, statisticians, and data users from national, regional, and international organizations, as well as academia and the private sector. The opening ceremony commenced with a keynote address by Rashid Al Maraj, Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, in which he highlighted the CBB's dedication to the development of official statistics with a focus on enhancing monetary and financial stability while ensuring the sustainable development of the financial industry. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended Olympic qualifier in Doha. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, arrived in Qatar yesterday to attend the final of the Asian men- Men's Handball Qualification Tournament for the 2024 Paris Olympics between Bahrain and Japan. Upon arrival, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, on Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa was welcomed by Sh- Sheikh Thani bin Hamad Al Thani. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the solid fraternal relations bonding between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the state of Qatar. Social Development Minister affirms support for charitable societies. Osama bin Ahmed Al Khalaf Al Asfur, Minister of Social Development, received Farooq Yusuf Khalil Al Moyed, Board of Directors Chairman of Better Life Association of Charitable Work, alongside board members. The minister reviewed the association's fields of work and development goals, citing the economic and social services it delivers to boost charity work and cooperation and coordination with various government and private entities. He commended the efforts exerted by the association to consolidate. community partnership highlighting the major role played by bahraini businessmen to promote the values of sol- social solidarity now we shall go for short commercial break The branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bahrain has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. 
during and around the opening day. A variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, garments and ready-to-eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all. Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. Welcome back. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad praised national fan handball team's performance. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain Olympic Committee President, yesterday attended the final of the Asian Men's Handball Qualification Tournament for the 2024 Paris Olympic between Bahrain and Japan, held at the Duhail Handball Sports Hall in Doha, Qatar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the distinguished performance of Bahraini players despite their defeat to 29-32, which was reflected the advanced level reached by handball in Bahrain, wishing the national team every success in the Olympic qualifiers and the 2024 Asian Men's Handball Championship. UAE condemned Israeli ground operations in Gaza. The UAE has condemned the ground operations by Israel in the occupied Gaza Strip and expressed its deep concern over the Israeli military escalation and exasperation of the humanitarian crisis that transcends most, more laws of civil, like civilian lives. In a statement, the Foreign Ministry, the Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs reaffirmed that the need for an immediate ceasefire to ensure that say, civilians and civilian institutions are not targeted. The Ministry further underlined the importance of the protection of civilians according to international humanitarian law, international treaties for the protection of civilians and human rights, and the need to ensure that they are not targeted during defeat. Eclipse in Turkish Center Sedentary President Erdogan tells pro Palestinian rally. Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan addressed hundreds of thousands of supporters at one of the largest pro-Palestinian rallies since the Israel-Hamas war began, courting his Islamist political base a day ahead of the centenary of a Turkish secular republic which was yesterday. Israel has been openly committing with cri war crimes for 22 days, but the Western leaders cannot even call on Israel for the ceasefire, let alone react to it. Erdogan told the crowd in Istanbul, who waved Palestinian flags, we will tell the whole world that Israel is a war criminal. We are making preparations for this. We will declare Israel a war criminal, he said, he added. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi to participate in the program marking the culmination of Mary Mati Mera Desh campaign's 
Amrit Khalash Yatra. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi will participate in the program marking the culmination of Meri Mati Mera Desh campaigns Amrit Kalash Yatra at Kartavya Path on 31st October 20, 2023 at around 5 p.m. The program will also mark the closing ceremony of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. Prime Minister will inaugurate the Amrit Khwatika and Amrit Mahotsav Memorial during the program. He will address thousands of Amrit Kalash Yatris joining the program from across the country. During the program, Prime Minister will also launch Mera Yuva Bharat, MY Bharat and platform for the youth of the country. With this, we come to the end of today's news. Stay tuned for daily news updates and BMC News Club English at 7.30pm. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off by Shina Sultana. Good night.